Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. I should not mention this. You've been doing something. Are there any leads, suspects, anything, anything at all, any shred of evidence? You two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah, her pimp. Her, was she a? Yeah, she was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir. Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well. I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. <laughs> is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it... Probably belongs to him. Maybe. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. <laughs> he knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Herr Spiegel. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Haben wir irgendwas, was wir angucken können, bevor wir das angucken, was sie angucken soll? Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Yes, that's right. Worth a try. I question it only due to the amount. It seemed a bit. Noch ein bisschen was anderes, was wir uns angucken können. Mhm. Sieht auch ziemlich schäbig hier aus, ey. Ich vermute mal einfach nur so eine riesen Ansammlung an allen möglichen Krimskrams. Hallo? Well, that's not what I have here. I can look through it again and get back to you. Mhm. Mm Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Or what he did to get them? I'll be sure to let him know. Yes. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Okay. 
Also Spiegel. Oh, die Locke. Dein Spitzname könnte auch die Locke sein. Ah, sieht halbwegs dumm aus. Also hey, gut. Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Oh, fuck I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. <laughs> There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Hmm. Show Snow. Me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Buffkin. Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Show me the woodsman. Was ist mit ihm? Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down the street. No shit. Which street? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me the woodsman. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or okay. Someone new. Vorsicht! Vorsicht! Nein! Oh. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Also gut, anscheinend. Sind die Bücher da, die wir brauchten? Was haben wir hier? Erstmal komplett zum Anfang hin. Was ist das hier? Great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. What's that? <laughs> it reads. Mark of the house of the Frog Prince. Was kann ich? This looks familiar. Yes, from the acts of the woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. I only translate. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. <laughs> okay. Bufkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Ja, wahrscheinlich. Was haben wir noch hier? This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlai or Al? I'll go look it up. All in Lyra. Let me 
finds every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. <laughs> the story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. Oh, shit. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Natürlich schade, aber du bist halt nur mal in der Arbeit, da musst du halt arbeiten, Junge. Also, dass du überhaupt gucken kannst, ist ein Wunder. <lacht> so, ich werde aber noch ein bisschen weiter hier gl äh, glotzen. Wir hatten ja noch ein paar. Ach nee, das waren alle. Leute, so, wir haben hier diesen Esel, also sprich dieses Eselfellgedönse. Und hier das Zeichen dafür. Ja, per Woll. Gut, das brauchen wir nicht mehr. Was haben wir hier? Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Hm. Me. And him. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. <lacht> and the two of them. I wonder what the story was. You're getting warmer, but that's me. Lol, Entschuldigung, die Unterbrechung. <lacht> Bin alleine hier, hab ein Parkhaus und außen Parkplätze zu betreuen. Natürlich, aber wie gesagt, das ist halt äh, dein Angelegen. Also, du bist an deiner Arbeit, man muss sich ja doch um deine Arbeit kümmern. Ja, yeah, Dwarves. Was ich gesagt habe, desto besser. Boah, die sind gruselig. Oh, die Batterien sind fast leer. Das ist natürlich praktisch. Ähm. his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Jetzt war der Tun, äh, Tun weg. 
macht nichts geil. Ist ja wie 